welcome children to today's session in today's session we shall study image formation by a concave lens so let us go into the image formation there are two ray diagrams which you have to study one is object at infinity and another one is object in front of the lens so let us see the first ray diagram where object is at infinity the rays from the object fall onto the concave lens and they diverge the image is formed at focus f1 on the same side of the lens if you extend the diverging rays backward and the image is highly diminished or point sized it is virtual and erect the second ray diagram is object placed in front of the concave lens ray of light from the object falls on the lens and gets diverged it can be extended backwards another ray of light passing through the optical center moves without refraction the extended ray meets at focus point where both the rays meet is the place where the image is formed the image is diminished virtual and erect so these are the ray diagrams you should remember for on concave lens now let us move on to the sign convention for spherical lenses it is similar to that of the concave mirror the sign convention are same as the spherical mirror uh, spherical mirrors difference is that instead of a mirror you have a lens from the object the ray of light incident is towards right direction of incident light distances along the direction of incident light that is distances towards the right are positive distances against the direction of light that is distances towards the left are taken as negative height upwards to the object is positive height downwards to the image is negative so it is almost the same the difference is that only uh, instead of a mirror you have a lens so let us look into the lens formula this is the convex lens Just a ray diagram showing the image formation in a convex lens. From O, that is optical center, to the object gives you the object distance U. The distance from center of the lens, optical center, to the image gives you the image distance V. Focus for a convex lens is on the opposite side of the lens, that is towards the right. Focus is positive. The length is f. R is 2f. 2f or this center of curvature. So that is the radius of curvature r. These are the points you should remember. The lens formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by v. It is just the sign is opposite to that of the mirror. 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by v. U is object distance, V is image distance, F is focal length of the mirror. Magnification is the ratio of size of the object. Sorry, size of, size of the image to the size of the object. Magnification produced by a lens is also defined as ratio of image distance to object distance. That is, V is to V. So, this is the formula m h dash by h is equal to v by u m is equal to h dash by h is equal to v by u exact opposite to magnification of the mirror where there is a minus sign so in the lens magnification is with a positive sign m is equal to h dash by h is equal to v by u we will 
go to the last concept of this lesson that is power of the lens. Power of the lens is defined as reciprocal of its focal length. In f is in meters, power is measured in diopter. That is, if, if f is given in meters, power is equal to 1 by f in meters. If at all the focal length is given in centimeter, then how do we calculate power for the lens? You have to take it as p is equal to 100 by f in centimeters, which will give you the power in diopter. Conversion of meters into centimeters. So, this is the formula. Please learn all the formulas thoroughly. So, uh, the numericals we will do in the next session. With this, uh, today's session comes to an end. Thank you.